Hello, how's it going? Tenro here, and well, that was that was weird. That was that was weird. <laughs> oh, how's it going? Back today with another episode of our Lands of Zankar series, and we've got some gold sitting here. Uh, you're cut from a wood deal I did with Steam. Love, Manga Mad. Well, sweet. Um, that's cool. Thank you, Manga. That's awesome. Uh, you want to know why that's super awesome is because I currently have four ingots and eleven, so I guess I have five ingots and then a little bit extra, uh, three extra. So now I have two blocks of gold. That's a huge amount more money than I <laughs> than I had before. Ooh, actually, I think I had a little bit of gold sitting over here. Yes, eight. Wow, look at that. Almost a whole block there. What? I am, I am making it. I am making it. I've got cash for days. Okay, hold on. Let's put this in there. That in there. Look at that. Three blocks and that, that that is, you know what? We can go better than that. We can do better than that. You know why? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this and that. Four ingots. I'm rich. <laughs> anyway, now that that's out of my system, let's go ahead and go over and... What is... Oh, sorry. What is... What? Who are you? And who are you? What are you... What are you doing? Why are you digging a hole? What's happening? I have a really funny feeling that Jalushko has been here. I have a really funny feeling that she's been here. Um, okay, well, anyway, I want to head over to the sh <laughs> I want to head over to the shopping district today. Oh, we got a llama. Puppet. <gasps> oh, that's that one book we got last week with the puppet pals or puppet pranksters things. Yeah, that's what that is. Yep, that's what that is. They're puppets. Puppet pranks. <laughs> I love this. Oh, let's go see how our shop's been doing this last week now that we've restocked it and hopefully made some sales. Hey, look, it's a skunky. <laughs> Ow! Rude. Um. I just came out of the nether portal and I can't do anything. Um. What's happening? Oh, there we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> I got stuck. In the portal. Alright, let's go see what our shop has made. So we've got down here. Ow! Hit the wall. All right, let's go check out our acacia. We've got a uh, nothing here. Okay, let's check out the birch. Ooh, I see something here. I see. Ooh, got a stack and a half. A little more. All right, let's check out Mr. Dark Oak. Looks like nothing there. Okay. What about jungle? Ooh, we got a little bit of something. Almost a half a stack rock in this. I should have stocked this up long ago. Almost another half a stack. Yes. Yes. Oops. All right. Looks like nothing from spruce. So it looks like that's what we've got. Let's round all this up. What is... Oops. What is this? This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I just got 16... <laughs> I just got 16 blocks of gold from this. Why have I not stocked this shop sooner? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go put all this in our wallet. Keep all this safe. Make sure everything is protected. Check that out. I have 19 blocks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, so let's go take a look and see. I've got a little bit of a issue going on with my experience bar here. You notice it's it's chilling out at zero. There is no experience. Let me go over to my base and I'll show you what's going on. Something weird is happening here. Okay, so let me grab something over here just to show you. Let's get some coal ore. We'll just grab a little bit of that and plop one on the ground there. And let's grab our fortune pickaxe. So this is like we would normally mine coal. And you'll listen and you'll hear the experience sound. But nothing happens. Let's place some more. Maybe there was just it was just so low that you didn't see it, right? Nope. I'm getting no experience. So there's only one thing I can think to do about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this down and take all of these things off of my person because well only thing I can think to do is to let myself move on and add one more to the death counter up there. We just passed five hundred recently on a uh, recent stream so let's see um let's see what <laughs> let's see what happens ow 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 okay so <laughs> i was waiting for that <gasps> oh oh boy let's just smile let's just smile <laughs> all right Let's grab some ores. Let's try this and see if we can fix our problem now. 
Let's grab our fortune pickaxe. Okay. Place one of these down. <gasps> yes, it worked. It worked. <laughs> They're going to be so confused. <laughs> oh, it doesn't sound goose good. It doesn't sound good. Oh, let's see. Can we get some more experience? They're so confused. <laughs> oh, but look, I can gain levels again. I don't know what happened before to make that happen, but I can gain levels. All right, I'm going to see if these puppet people are digging towards anything. I doubt it, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to take a look and just see. Oh, they got some iron down here. Ooh, okay. iron. <laughs> okay. I can't, I can't dig. I can't. Why, why can't I? Hello? There we go. There we you, go. You, you, dro you dropped these dirt pieces that are, that were <laughs> oh, no. suspended here. Oh, no. Okay. That, the so dirt that is crumbling it. in. The dirt uh, is caving in, yeah. I'm going to say we're probably oh, not you found bedrock. here to find anything. Okay. I just thought I'd check. I needed some more stone. Ooh, some redstone. I'll take that. Um, where should, am I? You should totally leave this as a giant hole now. <laughs> yes. Light it up, though. Light it up. Yes. No, don't light it up. Leave mobs down there. You can throw people down there. <laughs> throw people down All there. Right, into the pit. <laughs> That's great. Ow! Ow! No. <laughs> oh no! Uh, I'm so Come happy you're recording this. Oh yes. Okay. And there's my intro. <laughs> there's your intro. I love ten row intros. Oh, They're so, so entertaining. Nice. So unfortunately, nothing found under here. But we'll just stay tuned and see what else happens as this dark pit lies and what kind of baddies will spawn in here and bad evil things. <laughs> 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 Who's gonna be? Oh no, neither of you. Okay, fine. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I like that. Oh, that was fun. Okay, I do want to modify my mailbox just a little bit. I want to make it so that whenever I have mail, uh, I can see it on this wall over here because I frequently come out of the nether and I just run straight by this without even seeing this. So if the light would be on, that would tell me that I have mail. So with the use of comparators and lecterns and storage units, I can do just that. So let's break open the... Whoa, that was fast. Haste 2 makes this fast, I forget. Okay, so we'll have one comparator running straight out the barrel like that, and then we should be able to have another one coming out of this block here. Now, my only concern is getting this down, because this will power this block. Okay, hold on, let's check this out. Let me grab a book. Okay, so we've got our Pegasus book here. We can see that the redstone signal is going through the block because it's being pulled from the comparator from the lectern through the block, and that's there, so that's great. So we've put redstone dust here. It's right there. Super light, but if we put a repeater... I don't have a repeater. Hang on. Okay, so if we take a repeater and put that in that place, it'll extend it a full 15 blocks in length. So what I know there will have redstone, no problem. But out of this one, I guess I can do a repeater out this way. And then if I throw something in there... Okay, that works. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, great. So now I just gotta bury these two lines and have them go out to this side. I'm thinking I'm gonna have my light come right around... Probably just right here so I can see it from the nether. And, whoops, went too far. There we go. So I have it right there. So whenever that's turned on, yeah, there we go. So whenever that's turned on, I have mail. I like that. Okay, let me bury the wiring and see how I'm going to do this. <laughs> okay, great. So let's go ahead and finish all this up. So now that's lit up. We've got our mail indicator light. Then we can go ahead and close this off just like that. So that's natural. And then this was the wall behind here. Oh, I got to put something there. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And I had that there. And then that's looking good. So now as long as we've got mail... Oh, we got to close this off a little bit more. Okay, and then whenever you come out here, you can see we have mail. That's wonderful. So what if we take this out? As long as we have the book there, it should still be on. Good. And as soon as we take this out, it's turned off. That's beautiful. What if we only had something in the bottom? It turns back on. We have a mail indicator light. I love it. Yoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Okay, and the final touch here, we're going to say you have mail. All right, and to finish off the episode, we're going to head over to Manga's base to install some lights. Um, I don't have any materials. I'm going to be using all of his materials, but it's for free. So, yeah, that's cool. That's a lot of coal. That's a lot of coal. That's a mountain. <laughs> that's a big mountain. All right, let's go down here and see where we're going to be putting these lights. Okay, here we are. So we've got, he's got torches lining the inside right now, and he's got carpet on the top, and he has all the redstone lamps where he wants them. Now, what I'm thinking is to have a pressure plate or tripwire, not sure what yet, depends on the design here, but so that whenever you walk up to it, it powers down the line, and it times one, so it's going to go juice, 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 and so on and so forth, all the way down, but I definitely want to have the lights going in order, and having the delay between each one turning on a second or so between each one, and have them stay on for probably 10 to 15 seconds or so. So I went ahead and took out all the lights from the hall, so now you see it's nice and dark down here, 
As soon as I step on this pressure plate, you'll see it starts to light up this entire hallway from the start to the end. Which is kind of cool. I like that already. We want this to stay on for some time, so I'm going to have to add a pulse delay in here and a couple other things underneath that I'm thinking about. So let me add a few more tweaks. Right now I've just got it running some repeaters into here. Anyway, I'm going to add a couple more tweaks and then come right back to you. Okay, perfect. So I've got a nice little 10, um, what is this? One, two, three, four. Yeah, 10 comparator pulse extender here. So what this does is as soon as you step on the pressure plate here, it sends a signal through everything and you'll see the redstone signal slowly dies down over time and then it turns all the way off. So that means that as soon as we walk over the pressure plate, it's going to start lighting up the hallway and everything is going to stay lit for a short amount of time. That way the light can go all the way to the end and the player can start walking through and then it's going to start to go back through that way. Now, even though this piece was pretty cool on its own, I, could, I, I, I just couldn't stop there. So I went ahead and took the liberty of adding note blocks, but not just one note block per side. Yeah, no, we've got three note blocks per side here. So we've got a lot of note blocks. A lot, a lot of note blocks in here. Um, just because I wanted it to sound like it was really turning on. And I wanted it to have the Minecraft equivalent of something powering on. So uh, every time you walk to your nether portal, Mangamad, here's what you'll hear. And you run all the way through. Let's see, will the light chase me down? Oh, it's chasing me down. It's chasing me. Oh, I might need to extend it a little bit longer. Okay. And you can see right here, it's super simple too. So if you're looking to do something like this in your own base, uh, to all of you watching, you just need some repeaters running into a solid block and off that solid block, have a piece of redstone dust with a note block just next to it. It doesn't have to be connecting to it or anything. It just powers this block, which powers the note block. And it's sitting on top of whichever log or... I mean, sorry, whichever block it is. In this case, this is just doing like a bass sound. The sand is doing kind of a snare drum, and the stone is doing more of a bass drum. So it's just kind of giving those low tones to it, making it sound like it really is powering on. Let me go ahead and extend this out a little bit, make this look a little bit prettier, and see what we've got as a final product. Okay, wonderful. So now I've just got it all boxed in here. Manga Mad, if you're watching, you can just break through this wall right here and get to everything that you had before, just in case you're curious. But I've closed off everything here just to give it that nice little closed-in feel. Now whenever we run over it, we get the full effect. Oh, I, it triggered twice. Oh, it's on an endless loop. <laughs> what did I do? Did I... What? Why is it looping itself? Okay, rest assured, uh, I fixed it. It should all be working now, so let's see if I can run through the whole thing. Okay, good. It only triggered once. Good. Now let's look behind us. Is the light chasing us? No. Good. And as we approach the end, it should start to chase us. And as we come into the nether portal, it is all turned off. That is how we like to see it now. There's no reverse. I suppose we could trigger up a redstone signal so that whenever you enter from the portal, you can have a pressure plate right here, and that would just trigger all the way from the very beginning. That could work, but it would trigger it backwards. That's the only thing. Anyway, that is that, so let me get out into some light so that I can go ahead and tell you thank you so much for watching. This is going to be the end of today's episode. If you've enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button down below, and if you're not already subscribed, well, then you know what to do. <laughs> this has been a whole lot of fun. Thanks again so much for watching. I will see you next time.